What is going on guys? This is Chad. Thank you for watching another Is That Chad Auto Reviews video. Today we're taking a look at the 2019 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Now this is going to be the newest model from Mitsubishi. Um, of course we have other SUVs such as our Outlander Sport which is very similar in size to this and of course we have our full size SUV which is going to be just the regular Outlander. If you guys do want to see more information on those cars, make sure you go ahead and check out my channel. I do have those uploaded. But today, we're going to be taking a look at this car in particular. I'm going to be showing you guys all of the features this car has, as well as some of the quirks and some of the things I like and dislike about the car. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys just a little bit about this thing. Like I said, this is the 2019 Mitsubishi Outlet, sorry, Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross. Now, this, this and the 2018 are the exact same. There's no differences. There's a slight difference in the seats, actually, which I'll tell you guys about in just a second. Now, this is going to be the ES model, which is going to be our entry-level model. It goes from ES up to LE, SE, and then so on and so forth. I'll show you guys all of those cars as well. Just look to my channel and you'll see all of those. This car has a 1.5 liter turbocharged motor gets really really good gas mileage it averages 27 miles per gallon in the city sorry 27 miles per gallon combined now let's go ahead and get into the features of this thing i want to start on the front where you see the trademark mitsubishi grill and trimming there i think it looks really really aggressive i'm a really big fan of it i think it would look really good if you made that chrome into black as well um, another thing you'll notice on the front of this car is going to be these nice led daytime running lights that run all the way along the bottom of the headlights. Now these headlights are going to be projector housings. You do get just regular halogen bulbs in here, but of course you can change those bulbs out because these are uh, projector beams. Really nice. Working our way to the side of the car, I want to point out these rims. You do get nice alloy rims. They're going to be 16 inches, so they look really good on here. Not a lot going on. Pretty simple design there. They look good. Next thing I want to bring your attention to on the side of this car is going to be the mirrors. As you can see there, you do get the um, you do get the turn signals incorporated into the mirror, so people can see that you're turning from the side of you. This is a really nice, really nice idea. Last thing I want to bring out on this side is going to be this really bold body line that goes all the way from the tail the tail light right there all the way down. Looks really, really aggressive. I really like that. Um, coming around to the back of the cars, we're going to find one of the more controversial uh, features of this car. That's going to be this thir or the, the brake lights in general, but in particular this bar that goes across the back. Pr 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 uh, sorry, I personally do not mind it. It doesn't interfere with vision whatsoever. You still get plenty of visibility in the car. But it actually helps because whenever you hit the brake, that third brake light, which is right there in the middle, is right in front of people's face. I mean, it's right there at eye level, so that's a really nice feature there. On the back, you also see that ES badging, letting you know that this is going to be our entry-level um, model. Looking into the back of the car, you do still get your spare tire. It's going to be a full-size diameter, but it will be a smaller width, so it is just a temporary tire. Now, ton of trunk space. Of course, you can get the cover here that goes over. What I want to show you guys is fold these seats down. Very simple right there. And also do this side over here as well. It's split 70-30 there. You can see pretty flat. It's not completely flat, but very, very similar. I'm also going to show you guys, if you look here, you notice there's a smaller gap here than here. I'm going to show you guys the reasoning for that. I think you'll really like it. Let's go ahead and hop into the back seat. Let me show you guys the amount of space that we have. Now guys, but while I'm getting into the back seat, let me bring up the warranty. On all new Mitsubishi products, you're going to get a 10 year, 100,000 mile power chain warranty a five-year 60,000 bumper to bumper five-year protection on the paint and then another five-year roadside assistance so a lot of good warranties all right now that I'm back here in the back I'm six foot one I have this front seat scooted all the way back and you can see my knees I mean 
really not even not really not even touching now what I was talking about earlier they have this bar down here and I could scoot the seat back and now my legs really aren't touching that's a feature you really don't get on these type of SUVs very often so that's really nice that you can adjust the seat move it forward or back to give you more or less space in the back if you need it another thing I'll bring up is you do get a power outlet back here as well you don't get air vents but I'm sitting in the back and I can feel the air from back here so not to worry at all about that let's go ahead and hop into the front another thing while I'm back here while I get into the front you'll notice you do get this really nice carbon fiber trimming there on the doors um, it also is carried over into the front area of the car as well which I'll show you here look at the door panel here you see that carbon fiber trimming continue right there show you guys what we have so as we step inside the car, the first thing I'm going to bring up is the only thing, the only complaint I have about this car, and that is this massive e-brake located right here. I think it just takes up a lot of space. It's not very aesthetically pleasing, um, but other than that, I mean, it's not too bad. I know a lot of people actually prefer this parking brake over the electronic parking brake. So just drop a, drop a comment, let me know if I'm the only one that dislikes this or if you guys are um, a fan of it. Now, go ahead and start over here on my center, or sorry, on my dash cluster, and we'll work our way over. As you can see here, let me turn this hazards off. You do get your regular, sorry, your regular analog gauges there with a LCD screen right there in the middle, which you can change just the top of it there. So you can see, you can kind of cycle through some of your options there. Um, other than that, pretty self-explanatory there, very standard stuff. Um, another thing I'll bring up while we're right here is this carbon fiber that I was talking about in the doors is also carried across to right there. Now, as I work my way over to the radio, I wish they would have carried that carbon fiber over into here as well, maybe down this, but, you know, I can't, can't, uh, that's, that's, why they, that's why they don't pay me the big bucks, you know. Now, this radio here, is going to be a touchscreen radio. It is a seven inch touchscreen radio with Bluetooth controls. Now you don't get Apple CarPlay or Android Auto on this model, but all you gotta do is step up to the very next trim level to get those. Um, of course you do have automatic climate control, which is something that's really nice on a base model, uh, base model SUV. Now you see this right here. This model, this car can also come in an all-wheel drive system. So that's what this would be for if you did have that all-wheel drive system. It would be to lock it in. Um, working my way back over to the steering wheel, you notice just how simple it is. And actually, as a matter of fact, just the whole um, dash and the whole thing, the way it's laid out is just so simple. There's not a lot of buttons thrown everywhere. Um, it's really, really easy to navigate this car, which is really nice. Um, now, last thing I'll bring up is gonna be this. As you can see right here, I'm looking in the rearview mirror and you can see that bar back there, but it's not impeding my vision whatsoever because you have the window underneath to help with that. So that's not a problem at all. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you wanna see how this car drives, drop a comment. If you have any other kind of questions or comments, or maybe you have one of these cars and I might have missed something, drop a comment and let me know. With, also, if you guys did like this video, please make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for all content car related. With that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching another Is That Chad Auto Reviews video, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.